So with this problem again, just like we said, we have uh, we've defined the number of total stickers here. So let me show you what I mean by that. So right over here, how many total sticks, excuse me, how many total sticks are there if there are 48 yellow sticks in the bag? So before we begin, before we continue, is it true that what we want to find is just the total number of sticks? Right, just to begin there, that's really all we're looking for. That's all we care about. Sounds good. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, we need to write that information down. So allow me to write that information down right over here. Grab a new piece of uh, a text box. And what I'll say is we want blank total sticks. And is it true, everybody, that they give us a little more information here in this problem, in that sentence? Is it true that they include uh, 48 yellow sticks with that? Is it true that they include 48 yellow sticks with that? And I, I hope you can agree with that because that's right there. That is right there. They give you 48 yellow sticks with it. That's true. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and point out the information that's given to us because I think it's going to be surprising that for those of you that got A, how close you were to getting the right answer. So here's what's happening. Here's what's going on. In the next sentence here, right below this, what we're going to do is we're going to write the information they give us. They gave us over here, they gave us 14 blue sticks for every 42 yellow sticks. So were you guys able to write that piece of information down? Here, 14 blue sticks for every 42 yellow. Were we able to write that down? Okay, great. My as bad party people. Hope you're enjoying the math party so far. Just wanted to remind you before we continue that we do have a way for you to practice everything you need to get the ASVAB score that you want. Because in our math boot camp, we have everything you need in terms of recorded lessons to go through the entire concept. On top of that, we have guided practice, printable worksheets, and speed drills for each and every single mini concept from adding and subtracting decimals to fractions, distance rate time, word problems, proportions, everything you need. It's all lined up for you and it makes learning as easy as possible and we make updates to this course on a weekly basis at no extra cost to you. So I really urge you and implore you, go ahead, check out the link in the description for the Math Bootcamp, which is also included in our full program and we make it as affordable as possible. So go ahead, click the link in the description to learn about this more. That way you know exactly what's available to you to raise your score. I don't want you to feel test anxiety. I don't want you to feel like you're lost and you know, you're just hoping for the best. I want you to take control of your studying and the ASVAB All Access program and the Math Bootcamp are the exact ways to do it. So if you have any questions, my contact info is also in the description. But before we continue, please check it out so you know exactly what's available to you. That way you can feel confident that there is a solution for you. Let's get back to the video though. Let's ace the ASVAB. So let's understand, let's understand here why the whole, hey, compare the same things in the same way. This is why that's important. Right over here, watch this. If I were to set this up now, and I were to go ahead and use another text box, I'm gonna go ahead and pop in another one. Let's do that right over, let's say here. And if I were to go ahead and make an equation, I'll use x over 48 equals 14 over 42. So let me go ahead and make that bigger, obviously, so that everybody can see. Everybody, was this your setup? Was that your setup? Did your setup look something like that? x over 48 equals 14 over 42. And yeah, you can absolutely solve this with cross multiplication. But I know that some people here are gonna say no to how they set this up. But let me show you why you would have gotten what you've gotten. So everybody, for the people that have solved it this way, for the people that set it up like this, when you cross multiply and you went ahead and did the X times 42 and the 48 times 14, when you did all of that and you solved everything, is it true that you ended up getting X equals 16? Is it true that that's what you got after it was all said and done. All right, so let me help you explain why that was the case, but that's incorrect. Let me show you why that was the case, and again, why that was in 
correct. This right here is wrong. And let me show you why. Because, everybody, take a look here. The X that we're looking for here is T, we'll say, you know, we'll just say total sticks. That represents the total. So this X that we're looking for, technically speaking, represents the total. Well, guess what this over here represents? Let me go ahead and just make this a little smaller. Well, then guess what the 14 represents on the other side? That 14 represents the blue sticks. Okay, so let's write that down. Blue sticks. So my party people, what's next? The 48. What does that 48 represent? Oh, that represents yellow, and the 42 also represents yellow. So right now, the 48 and the 42, those are good. Those are fine, because those are set up the same way. Everybody, do you see how those are set up in the same way here? 48, to or 48 uh, yellow, and here it's 42 yellow. Are we good on those with the yellows? Are we good on the yellows being compared the same way? But what's the big problem? The big problem is that you have X for the total and 14 for the blue. Those aren't being compared in the same way. Those are not being compared in the same way. And so the, because that was like that, because it was set up like that, this is gonna give you a bad time. And the bad time is this doesn't actually represent total. That right there does not represent total. This right here, that actually represents blue. That actually represents blue. And so now that when you did that, when you solve that, when you solve for the 16, this is actually 16 blue sticks not the total number of sticks. And so, everybody, if you would have gotten to this point, how do you actually solve for the total? How do you actually get the total? Exactly, that's right. So Jonathan, you'll add the 14 back with, or you'll add the 16 back with the 48 that you have. Yeah, because you have 16 blue sticks, and that goes with the 48 yellow, what you can say is you add the 48 yellow, and that's going to equal what? That's going to equal 64 total sticks. Correct or incorrect? Yeah, and then that's what will give you the answer choice B. That would be the correct answer. That's why A is wrong and B is correct. Yeah. And before you go, if you like what you saw and you want to raise your score with thousands of practice problems just like that, so you can lower that test anxiety, raise that confidence, go to this link right here to check out the full program. There's a video that shows you exactly how it works, but you're going to get lessons, guided practice, worksheets, speed drills, and everything that you need to feel supported from day one all the way until you pass. Again, I'm Coach Anderson, and I'll see you soon.